In the last video, we made an enumerator for our list. I don't suggest doing this. You certainly could. This is what we had to do before yield return came into the C-sharp language. I suggest using yield return wherever you could, unless you're doing something too complex for yield return. Then you could write your own enumerator, and now you know how, except I have no idea where it would be too complex to use a yield return. Use a yield return. Okay, but if you wanted to write your own enumerator, you can. But hopefully you saw in the last video, or you caught that dispose was called automatically when we did our for each. We for each over every single item, and then once the for each was complete, you saw how I stepped, and it stepped into dispose. Let me actually put a console write line here and say, I am disposing of myself. That sounds a little bit like suicide. I don't suggest that either, but now we will see when dispose is called. We'll get this nice output here. Let's control a 5 we get 25, 34, 32, those are the values inside of our list. Our numerator is behaving appropriately, and then the, the enumerator uh, disposes because the compiler threw out a dispose call in the for each. And if you're sharp, you're probably thinking, Jamie, you showed me what the compiler does with a for each, and I didn't see you write to dispose in there. And I'll be honest, I did not write this dispose in there. I was doing a little bit of hand waving. I didn't want to throw that detail out at you, but let me just show you how the compiler truly translates a for each. The compiler does everything that I told you it does, but it also adds the dispose in there. So I enumerator rater, the name of the enumerator is, is arbitrary, does not matter, it gets my party ages dot get enumerator while rater dot move next. And then the body of the for each is put down here. Console write line rater.current. Now if I control a 5 this one, you'll see we do not get the dispose. What the compiler does is it wraps the entire loop here in a try. Finally, watch the exception videos if necessary to learn more about tries and finallys, but essentially we always want the finally to happen. That's what finally means. Try this. I'm not going to worry about catching anything. If there's a problem, that's okay. But I always, always, always want to say rater dot dispose. Now, when would an enumerator ever need to be disposable? Well, maybe you're iterating over things from the database. That's quite common. Or maybe you call the web service and you're iterating the sequence of items from the web service. And you have connections to the database or connection to the web service. Either one, you have connections. And if something goes wrong during that enumeration, you want to call dispose, and in theory, the dispose function should be responsible for closing those connections and cleaning up. So the compiler throws this finally in there and calls dispose for you. Let me control a 5 this, and you see, voila, we get the dispose call. Now, there's also one other way I was lying in the previous video, because it looks like I say console.write line rater.current. When I write it like that, it looks like the compiler says rater.current wherever I use the iteration variable i. For example, we said int i in my party ages, so i would technically be current, the enumerator.current. So when I say write line i, that should call current. Well, what happens if I add two write lines for i in here? If I say console write line i and then console write line i again, does this call my enumerator.current? twice? Would it be the same as saying rater.current, rater.current? Or does the compiler go to the effort of not calling current twice, but instead store or cache the value returned from current, and then use that cache value twice? This is simple to prove. All we need to do is come up to current, and in here we'll say console write line, returning the current Sounds like I'm returning a current from a river or something. But anyway, if the compiler writes our code like this, we should see that trace statement print twice here. But if the compiler caches the value of current away, we will only see that trace statement once. Let me F10 on this. F10, 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 F10. Here's the for each F10, F10, F10. And here we go. We returned the current even before we did the right line. Compiler generated for each went and retrieved the current value. So that when I F10, F10, F10 here, we still only say retrie returning the current once. The trace statement only traced once. That means the compiler cached the value of way of current instead of calling current for both this and for, for both the top one and for the, and both the bottom one. Man, my mouth is drying up. Let's compare that to our version down here. I'm just going to comment 
this for each out. And when we do the while radar.move next, this is actually incorrect because we'll see returning the current twice here, which is not what the compiler does. To make our translation perfectly like the compiler, we have to cache away the value of current. I shall call it i because that is the name of our for each variable. So i gets radar.current. And then here in console right line, hold down the Alt key, drag the mouse, we'll print the cached value, which is I in both of these cases. And now when I F10, 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 our output is identical to what the compiler has. So we now are respecting the dispose, and we're also caching the value away from the enumerator. In fact, let's see both of these side by side. I'll say console right line now doing our version it's just so we have this nice print here between the two. In fact, I'll put a white line or I guess a black line in the black console window. Control F5. Look at these side by side. And you can see returning the current 25, 25, returning the current 34, 34, returning the current 32, 32. Same with our implementation, returning the current, 25, 25, returning the current, 34, 34, and then both of them say, I'm disposing of myself, I'm disposing of myself. Ah, so there you go, I've taken away all my lies, and I've shown you exactly what the compiler does when it takes a for each and translates that into a get numerator, and then enumerates like so.